Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss one of the most important interview question for any functional consultant. If you are a MM consultant, if you are a ST consultant, if you are a HR consultant, PP consultant, PM consultant, for any functional, for any SAP functional consultant. Nowadays, every interviewer will expect this question from you. If you're going to show yourself as three years of experience, your five years of experience, or seven years of experience, or you have implementation project experience, then the interviewer, every interviewer will expect this question from you. Now, what is that question? It is the difference between customization and enhancement. So what is customization? What is enhancement? What is the difference between these two? As we all know, what is the standard configuration? The standard configuration is simply you are just getting into SPRO, SAP reference, IMG, then materials management if you are MM consultant, then getting into purchasing, and then if you want to uh, you know, configure anything like purchase orders, so you are just getting into the defined number range and the document type. So this is what the standard configuration which you are doing and which is readily available in the system. But what is customization and what is enhancement? So let's talk one by one. Okay, so let's talk about enhancement. First of all, enhancement, what is enhancement? So in general words, in very simple, enhancement means if you want to add any new logic, means new code. So basically this is done by the vapor. Right. So what the vapor is doing is if you want to enhance anything, you are, you are going for any enhancement, enhancement of new field. OK, enhancement of new field you may require in material master or in purchase order or in sales order, mm -hmm. wherever you require. Mm -hmm. So what you are doing is. You are just as a functional consultant, you are discussing with the uh, technical consultant or the vapor and you are informing that this is what the requirement we have. Right. Mm -hmm. So how can we achieve this? Do we need customization for this or for the enhancement? So how it will be done, how it will execute in the system or this requirement can be met. So what we need to do, what the ABAPR will do. Okay. So for, the, for any interview, if anybody will ask what is enhancement, just for example, I just want to show you something. So if I'll get into ME21N and then get into system utilities and debug, uh, a BAP, okay, and then if I go to ME21N, for example, you can see this is these are the code which is there uh, and which is maintained by the ABAP. Okay, now suppose if there is a requirement from the client, and according to that requirement, if the ABAP need to add any new code on this new code new code means new logic now suppose ex underscore instance is equal to global underscore framework so this is the existing one okay just below this if suppose that a vapor required to add a new code a new logic that means this is enhancement it's very easy to understand so if now anybody will ask in the interview, what is enhancement? You just, you can just tell that if suppose we need to add a new logic, new code to the stand uh, uh, with the standard code, then that is your enhancement. That means suppose you require to create a new field in the purchase order screen. For example, when you are creating a purchase order, your customer may require something, some they want to add something here some field if they want to add, okay? Or in the header level, if they want to add, or wherever they want to add, okay? So that is not standard. So now what the vapor will do, now the vapor may require to add the new logic on that, new code that is required. Not, so this, this is what you are saying, this is the existing one. This is, these are the standard code, which is readily available here. But on this, if they want to add a new code, new logic to achieve the requirement, then that is called enhancement. Okay, hope it is clear with everyone. Now let's talk about enhancement, uh, customization. What is customization? So there are, there are uh, two types of customization. As a functional consultant, what do we customize? Right, so what do we customize? What is the customization? So for, ex for example, now suppose if I want to create a document type, new document type. 
So what SAP suggests, if you want to create a new document type, either for purchase requisition or purchase order. So what we do, we simply just get into the document type. Sorry, uh, we have, uh, we just get into the document type screen. Where is that? So click on this, define document type. So we know that standard document type is NB. So we select it, click on copy, and we just customize it based on the client's requirement. So when we are customizing how the code is, it can be JED, NB, C, or, so when, remember whenever we are customizing anything, any new uh, document type or material type, either we should start with Y, NB1, or we should start with JED. So this is the standard uh, way of customizing any new document type or the material type. Okay, JED, PO1, or you can JED, NB, D, or import, or import PO. So this is the functional customization which we are doing, right? That same thing for purchase requisition. Then press enter and you can, if you like, so when you are copying all, so all these standard entries are getting copy to your new customized document type. So this is what the customization we are doing, right? As from functional point of view, this is the customization we are doing. Now from the technical point of view, what are they customizing? Okay. For example, now what is customization? Now suppose I'm getting into MM01 screen or let me get into the change mode. Okay, so I'm getting into the basic data one view. So in basic data one view, I just want to, suppose the customer's requirement is to add some, you know, uh, some new field here. For example, color, a new field they want to add, right? Or suppose they want to add some, uh, any, any other field, okay? And so for that, now it is depend on the evapor, how the evapor will achieve that. So evapor will check the like uh, feasibility, whether they can customize that field here in this screen or not. If they can do it, it's fine. Otherwise, what they will do, they will create a new GT code, GMM01. So what they will do, they will copy the existing, the standard MM01 uh, screen, and there, whatever the requirement need to be added, they will add on that, okay? And when they will add, that means they will create a new screen. That means if they are going to create a screen from the scratch, a new screen they are going to develop based on the client's requirement, then that is your customization, okay? So this is just I wanted to share with you all. Because nowadays, whenever you are going for any interview, this is one of the most important interview question. Or you can see customization is anything that is customer specific client's requirement, and that can be achieved with the help of the evapor always. So whenever we are getting any requirement, whether we, we required for customization or enhancement, we cannot decide. We need to discuss with the evapor. We will uh, let them know that this is what the uh, requirement we have. So please let us know how can we achieve it. So I hope now you understood the difference between enhancement and customization. So this is what I wanted to share with you all today. So please let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.